Ahoy! Bureaucracy has been around a long time. Shakespeare wrote about the insolence of office. Actual bureaucratic language is rarely so poetic, but it seems like the words and forms get longer and longer, while, the th while what sits behind them becomes more and more mindless. Who remembers when Australian Customs incinerated irreplaceable botanic and lichen samples from France and New Zealand? But the victims aren't always plants or microbial life. In the COVID era, petty burdens for people, particularly for those already in trouble from lost jobs and illness, keep going up. I'm John August, Treasurer, Pirate Party Australia. Governments and business are better at lying, something they've been working at for decades. We're better at spotting it, but there's been an inevitable decline in trust. Public relations and lobbying in both government and business have intensified. Rather than government making a considered judgement, parliamentarians, whether lazy, overworked or just plain naive, are swayed by the most persuasive, best financed voice. There have been improvements. We can cure more diseases. There's improved bang for buck, if not raw value, in white goods, motor vehicles and household appliances. Computers are, are a mixed bag, but there has been progress. We eat out of season food, restaurants and holidays are more affordable. But land is more expensive, beaches are more crowded, there's a perennial infrastructure deficit. We see fewer stars in the sky. Our children are probably unable to catch tadpoles at the local creek. And bureaucracy has become more obnoxious and government more nosy and intrusive. Has the government ever actually reduced any fines? More people are employed monitoring others with fewer doing anything useful, with the monitoring costs probably exceeding the waste that might have resulted from them actually having the freedom to use their own initiative. School teachers spend more time dealing with bureaucracy than teaching, and at universities non-academic staff have long exceeded academic staff. In Queensland, Dr Jayant Patel was associated with the deaths of 87 people. The inquiry noted the growing bureaucracy was more concerned with protecting the government from embarrassment than protecting patients. You can only wonder how many similar problems fester below the surface elsewhere. The growing bureaucracy did not stop Dr Patel. We've seen a growth in bureaucracy all over, together with worsening outcomes, or at best, we pay more for the same mediocrity. It's partly being so risk averse you're afraid of your own shadow. Ten years ago, a minister was embarrassed and today we still pay the price. People conveniently justify themselves as vital in keeping things from going off the rails. Something that for some reason needs ever more people without end. The economic casualties of COVID-19 got a shock when they dealt with welfare and job agencies for the first time. Where they're paid more to interview a recipient than that recipient receives in a week. If you've been to court to defend yourself in a traffic or other matter, you'll have realised just how demeaning the experience is. These are real and legitimate complaints. So far we've looked at the impersonal grinding bureaucracy. On top of that, there's the potential for malign intent, including Julian Assange and Witness K, illustrating just how much foreign policy has gone off the rails. The government was forced to reverse the robo-debt fiasco and pay back $721 million, where the scheme undoubtedly contributed to several suicides, and we can wonder just what the government was thinking when it rolled it out. Our job at the Pirate Party is to credibly spotlight these issues. Our background means that we can see things that others cannot, without falling down conspiracy theory rabbit holes along the way. Other parties might look the other way when increased bureaucracy suits their agenda, or wave their hands around about bureaucracy as election propaganda without trying to develop any sort of deeper understanding. Something we in the Pirate Party do try to do. Please give us your support. Join us, vote for us, help us along. With your help, we can be strident about these issues, important but much neglected. Thanks for listening.